Hey guys, Plays with Hats here with an episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. Uh, this is a like a platform hack and slash RPG, and uh, this isn't the first time I've played this game. So I mean, sorry if you wanted another blind let's play, but I just got this game uh, almost a month ago now. But I'm finally getting around to playing it. Um, I got it in uh, Indie Box, which is like a monthly subscription box type thing, kind of like Loot Crate, but for indie games. And it comes with an indie game and a whole bunch of merch for it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Alright, so, uh, go ahead and select this one. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Tough. I can't really think of any special way of playing this game that I could actually feasibly do, because I'm, Our there's no way I'm anywhere near, feed. hold on. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier Show no mercy. But despite so his victory, press X to wage his war. Skills, his ruthlessness. The valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single. Yeah, I find it weird that uh, that silhouette already has the sword from the game because that's actually not the same character as as you normally play as. Dust, dust, arise. I really like this sword. Oh, a talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. And now we get to be introduced to one of my favorite characters. Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the I love Fidget. Uh, anyway, uh, now that I actually have a lull in uh, cutscenes. Like, I, I was saying earlier, I can't really think of any special way of playing this game that I could actually feasibly do, because I'm not, I'm nowhere near good enough to do, like, a no-kill run or a uh, kill-everything, well, kill-everything run, but I don't think that would really make much sense for this game, since you, I think you have to kill everything to get to the next area anyway. Uh... No way I could play, like, a permadeath run, or just let alone, like, a uh, no damage run, unless maybe I was on the easiest difficulty. <laughs> um, maybe if I think of a different kind of play style that I could actually manage later on, I'll parallel that with this uh, series. But, if, if not, oh well, I'm, this is just gonna be a regular playthrough. Anyway, you don't look like a guardian to me. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after Weird, that his thing. portrait didn't show after for a second. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that happens sometimes. 
I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. Fidget? You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidgets, then? That's me. And you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. I guess, uh, he's got amnesia. What is the sword, anyway? So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, mm. but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the claim. I think I should I can't increase let you just the graphics. Leave this sword fidget. It seems to be right issues. now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. <laughs> I, I challenge you. The winner gets uh, the sword. I love fidget. Oh, uh, one more thing. This game, like every character in this game, is some sort of like animal type character so if you hate fairy uh fairies if you hate furries then you should probably uh stop watching otherwise uh i really really enjoy this game so uh just join me for the ride if you if you don't mind everyone being a furry anyway well hang on a second well i and then I just all win. Alright, alright, <laughs> you win. I don't think I'm needing empty fidget. hand. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? Her portrait didn't really show up again. I need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. I like the way he said that. Made it seem like, um... Hold on, let, just let me adjust some of these, uh... Things. Uh... Micro stuttering. Let me just. It won't. Let me activate it for some reason. No, oh, whatever. Let me lower the portrait. There we go. For some reason, I can't change it with the uh, controller. Uh, everything seems good. Alright. Let's try that. Anyway. Oh, right. Uh, see that circle on the map in the upper right hand corner? That means that there's a treasure of some kind here. So let me just go and get it real quick. I like how I woke up apparently next to like a pond or a lake or something. I don't know. That just seems cool to me and I like the water effects and everything. So if you've never heard of this game, this entire game other than some parts of the story and um, and of course the voice acting and the soundtrack. Uh, all of that was made, other than those, of course, all of that was made by a single person, and, uh, including all of that, the whole thing took, like, three years to make. And, uh, the computer version, uh, computer version, I think the PC version actually was made a bit better than, uh, what the... Why can't I make it back up there? That's not good. I can't, um... There we go. I don't know what happened there, but, I mean, whatever. Frame rates are... Frame rate keeps dropping on this 
Did Vision just go way ahead of me and then come back? That's weird. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. She keeps mentioning, like, her kind and, uh, like, her clan. But, um, she, as far as I know, she's the only one of her kind in this entire game. She also has a tendency to break the fourth wall quite often. There we go, now I can dash through this guy. That would have been a much easier way to get back up. Uh, what the hell? Okay, I swear, it seems like I'm not jumping as high as I should be. I don't know. Could just be me, though. What the fuck? I... I swear, I don't know what the hell's going on. That was weird. Okay. This game also has references to other games. So, like... Chicken just came out of that wall. That's clearly a reference to, like... Um... Castlevania, where, like... Drumsticks come out of walls and they, for some weird reason, call it pork chops. Anyway. Welcome to your quest log. From here, you can view active and completed quests as well as any notes you've picked up. Treasure. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there's enough time to free them all. Okay. Uh, let me check my... Oops. Welcome to your map. From here, you can be explored areas within the current region. You can also get a sense of any treasure within the immediate vicinity. So yeah, there's a circle there which means there's treasure here. Welcome to your inventory. From this screen you can manage equipment and items. If your health is low... whatever. Mysterious wall chicken. I love that. Found embedded in a wall, this fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes with comes from unknown origins. And it seems to be the only health item I have at the moment. Hmm. Treasure chest. All oh, right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. <laughs> I love bitches. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. Well, good thing I just found a key. All oh, right, almost forgot about how to open chests. You gotta have, like, this thing, uh, combination. Oh, hey, cool. So I just got a revival stone. So if I die once, it'll bring me back to life. Now, I guess on a permadeath run, I could still use these. Uh, if I ever decide to do a permadeath run. Do I have any armor? Nope. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Just some money and a revival stone, which I think I can sell for quite a bit too. If I come, a if I ever get to a shop, or when I ever get to a shop. All right, scripted cutscene. Can't move. Uh oh. Okay. There they go. I love Fidget's reactions to everything. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. Smash the buttons! <laughs> I love the combat in this game. It's kind of intuitive and, um... What the hell? I swear I don't know. That's never happened to me before in this game. So uh, I don't know what the Whoa. fuck's going on. Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn? Hope that's skills? not a recurring thing. You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello. Monsters! <laughs> oh, is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods, 
Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. <laughs> At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Feeble fruits. Small, juicy fruit that does little for hunger. Well, I'm going to start off with these so that I don't use up my better healing items right away. Uh, ah, save. I'm going to go ahead and save multiple times just in case I have issues with crashing. Because I've been having some issues with crashing lately. Like, it took me a couple times just to... What the hell? Like, this is kind of funny, but... Really kind of annoying at the same time. I know I can't go there, but... Oh my god, what the hell is going on with this graphics? This is weird. Like, I think the frame rates might be dropping a bit too, but like, I can't tell because <laughs> dust keeps fidgeting around. Uh, so I honestly don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, anyway. Oh my god! Losing frame rates. Uh. Oh my god, what in the hell? Like, seriously. Dust is. Uh, Fidget is flying around in the air. It's like. It's like Dust wants to be fidget now for some reason and just starts fidgeting all over the fucking place. Ah. Oh my god! It seems to stop whenever I, uh... Uh, whenever I... Oh, I got hit! It seems to stop whenever I go into the air for whatever reason. I find it weird that it keeps going like this. And kind of annoying at the same time. There we go. This is... I don't know what's going on, guys. This is really fucking weird. I don't... I don't know. It seems to happen more often when I start attacking than anything else. Oh my god. Is this tutorial just scripted to be right in that area? Because it seems to have come up a couple times. Maybe it was just a glitch. Hold here, there we go. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. I do like this. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. The name of the dust storm makes more sense once In Fidget case, figures this maybe out. I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, <laughs> I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Super Please ballistic fidget power button. <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. 
Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, yeah, actually, it's really useful. Between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The dust storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. And a lot cooler Observe. attack, too. Oh! And it locks it, it homes in on enemies. It's really cool. Wow. Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, I find it weird that her using something expends power, my energy meter. Achieve a higher hit chain. Which will yield bonus experience after each battle. Okay, yes, we get it. However, Fourth wall if you breaking. struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right, I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the plus menu. I think like. Thanks, fidgets. I'll take a look if I think I'm dust is like high on angel dust or something, and he's just like, um, yeah, I'll totally check out the angel, the, uh, the pause menu when I figure out what that is. Ow! There we go. I love doing it like this. Oh my god. I'll show it to you when their enemies aren't on the screen, on the screen, cause, uh, Frame. Just, oh my god. And now I'm fidgeting around. It's weird it didn't home in on anyone. There we go. Oh my god. And ha! Uh, this is so annoying. I don't know what's causing it other than when I attack occasionally I start fidgeting around and uh, the game doesn't seem to be able to or my computer doesn't seem to be able to handle um, large amounts of enemies on the screen at once because I keep having uh, drops in frame rate go ahead and save anyway Game? I don't know, it's almost like the game doesn't know what it wants to do now, either. Because it keeps... Normally those just go straight down whenever I do it. Unless, uh... Well, I guess I did have an enemy in the air with me. Okay. Sorry, I was fidgeting around again. It was really annoying. Oh my god, what the hell? This is ridiculous. I like how I, like, home in on enemies, so even if I'm in the, the air... Uh... Oh my god, attack the fucking orange one! Uh, I don't know, I don't think I can handle this much longer, um, when I make it to the village, I'll end the episode that way, uh, and try to figure out how to get, well, this, for one, to stop happening, as well as, uh, find some way to make it to where the drop in frame rates doesn't keep happening. Damn it. Oh my god, jump up there. Ah. I find it weird that I... It almost seems like I can't jump as high as I should be able to, because I couldn't jump up to this platform without, uh... Uh, without attacking these... the enemies. Oh, now that I'm hey, on the ground. You just leveled up. Is that what I did? It feels good. Great even. As it should, Dust. 
You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen through the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. Oh, hey, I just thought of something. Welcome to the character screen. From here, you can assign skill gems and whatever. So, um, when you level up, nothing actually happens until you go to the screen and assign a gem. So, maybe I could do another Let's Play of this game where I don't use any of these gems. Kind of a no-level run kind of thing. I'm not going to do that now, though. I'm going to go ahead and increase my attack because combat is getting annoying with the drops in frame rate. And, uh, I want enemies to die faster. Like, look, I can't get up there. And I don't know why. A uh, leap of faith. They chased, I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg, they caught up with me at the headless statue, surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go. I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. I think that's like a clue or something. There we go. Mysterious wall chicken. Ah, ha, ha I got the key. Look, I should be able to jump up there. I don't know why I can't. What the fuck? There we go. Uh... Money. There we go. At least I can make that jump for... Oh my god, I keep fucking glitching out. It's really weird. Like, this whole game seems to be glitchier at the moment, for some reason. I can't figure out why. This is a problem. Uh... Oh, right. God damn it! stop doing that. Oh, hey. Chest. X, A, B, B, A, B, A, there you go, oh hey, I got some food, and uh, some armor, tasty cupcake, freshly baked cupcake, carefully frosted and sprinkled, there you go, now I got some armor, I think I got a, nope, oh, I got a blueprint for a ring, alright, cool, Now back down here. Great. I get a... I guess I'm attacking every time I do platforming from now on. I don't know. I think my next up... My next uh, level... I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, Upgrade uh, fidget so that her projectiles deal more damage. Cause this, oh goddamn motherfucking piece of shit. Cause uh, the dust storm is really useful um, with fidget. Pr Fidget's projectiles. Ah, there we go. I guess I killed him. I like how it multiplies each... Uh, I don't know. Orb? I'm not even sure what to call these things. They're just... I don't know. I'm getting closer. The flag is in this section now. Beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. 
<laughs> Silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. <laughs> I love fidget I'm so much. sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Alright, new quest. Or a quest has been up. What the hell? Why did I jump off the edge? Oh my god. This is seriously an issue. Nah. That's also seriously an issue. There we go. Made it. God damn it. Nah. Nothing. I did all that for nothing. God damn it. Uh, oops. I hit I hit B, which Oh my god. If any of you know what's going on, could you let me know in the comment section below? Fucking fidgeting dust. Oh, cool. Critical hit. Um, again, the, the map says there's. There we go. Map says there's a secret in this section. So, oh my god, it's suddenly really slow. And now I'm fidgeting around again. Ah, cool. I got two keys. As well as two uh, more mysterious wall chickens. Nothing that way. I guess I get to just, uh, do aerial ow Do aerial attacks from now on so that I don't start glitching out. Ah. Uh, I don't understand what the issue is here. The frame rate suddenly jumped up, but uh, the speed of the game did at least. And then it fell again. Alright, well, I guess they're all dead because I can go now. Storm can bring uh, enemy item or bring dropped items to you. I go ahead and make fidget stronger. New ability, aerial dust storm. Ah, there we go. And yes, it works for that too. And now he's dead. Go 
ahead and bring anything nearby. Uh. Oh my god, I can't even tell what's going on anymore. Bet you're getting tired of uh, bitching about all the glitches. I like doing that. I swear, I... I actually... Uh... When I installed the game... I checked out parts of the game. Oh. Cause, uh... Just to make sure it was running alright on my computer, and it ran just fine. Uh... None of these glitches that you're seeing, nothing, nothing like that. So I don't know what's going- oh god damn it, I hit the wrong button. Glad it doesn't use up a key if- oh my god. Glad it doesn't use up a key if I fuck up. There. Oh, hey, the shop. Is there somebody in there? Whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes. It's got glowing eyes evil eyes of evil. Eyes of evil. I love that. Wait. Look at love Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just <laughs> surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. Oh, hey, I got a warped pendant. There we go, that increased my attack and log. Sweet. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? Like, this guy's somewhat of a reference to Resident Evil 4. In, uh... Uh, to the, uh, the guy, the, the merchant in Resident Evil 4. Well, now I can buy that here, so, I mean, it's not too bad. Oh, right. I haven't actually had that uh, conversation leave, with him yet. Might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold. You are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold I'll tell you right now, type, spoilers. I will be able to restock this guy is an Elysian. As for reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you'll buy them at a high price. I... Well, yes. Yes, I will. The materials <laughs> you sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. I kinda like this guy. Ah, uh, mm. hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... I already have this. What's this one do? Plus one attack, defense, and lock. Plus two attack, plus four defense, plus one lock. I think I'll wait on that. I will go ahead and get this, though. I've already got the best armor. And wear two of these. What is this? Teleport stone. Single-use stone that teleports the user from a save monument to the world map. Okay, cool. 
I can just buy these. For a fuck ton. Holy shit. How much can I sell them for? Not even half. Great. Well, Your anyway. Is most appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and equip that. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Oops. There we go. Now I should live longer, I guess. Woo! All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Sorry. Oh. Oh my god, what in the hell? I'm really getting tired of that. As well, okay. Can I not? Come on. Where'd it go? Ah, uh, it's stuck in the fucking... What the hell? I wasn't even aware it was even able to get under there. What the fuck? What in the hell? Wow, this just... I've just got the glitchiest fucking save files, don't I? God damn it. I guess I gotta come back for that. Fucking son of a bitch. <sighs> Hold on. I think there was a save file back, or a save spot somewhere back here. Oh. Okay, cool. It, it explodes after a while. There we go. So I can just go back and get another one? There we go. Oh my god. I swear I'll try to get it not... This, this game is not normally known for being this buggy. I don't know what's wrong with this. Come on. There we go. Sweet, I got another key. Come on. I need you to progress to the next area. Don't go in there again. Ah! I walked off the edge. God damn it! Shut up, Dust. Or, uh, Bidget. Stop telling me I can't use your abilities. There you go. There's the save file. Alright, I'm gonna actually cut this one a bit uh, earlier than I was planning on it. And I know I'm not quite to the village yet, but I'm really getting tired of the glitches. I don't know what's causing them. I will try to look up a fix online of some kind, see if anyone else has experienced them. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a good day, night, whatever, week, if you like this video go ahead and uh, hit the like button and if you didn't like this video tell me why in the comment section below. I'm Plays with Hats, hats off. Hey guys, thanks for watching and uh, if you're interested in watching any more go ahead and check out my other videos uh, of 20XX. Okay, yeah, I, I... Oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. Um... I don't know what I can do about this. Explodes on contact. Or do I want one of these things instead? Nutsack. Oh, stack. Okay, I swear I thought that said nutsack for a second. That would have been really weird. Or if you'd rather, you can hop on over to Pro Hat, where my buddy and I play Evil Land 2. You know what? I can't remember how to play. It's as mech. Eh. It's as mech as it's Metal Gear eh. Epic. <laughs> Ooh. Aww. Is that rice ball?
No, that's a helmet. It's the Great Deku Tree. We found him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day, night, weekend, week, whatever. Uh, hats off.